Do, do, do. All right, hopefully I'm going to get this right one time. Uh, this is my beautiful game table, my new beautiful game table. Uh, my work table is uh, still there, but uh, I'm pretty sure I got this map built into a thing. I just don't, uh, I know that this is where it's at up and running, so we're going to use my game table to display this, uh, this map that I got going on here. Uh, shoot over to the right monitor. Hopefully my audio still kicks in over the right monitor. Looks like it's being pumped out. And uh, you can see, uh, I'll make that a little bit bigger, but I've been playing this module called Outlaws of the Iron Root using ICRPG. Uh, and I've been converting the Adventurers League Season 1 stuff into um, ICRPG and playing with that. Uh, scooch down to the end here, and uh, you will see that I have a sideways map here called King's Pyre. I think there might be another edition or another version of it. Yeah, there's this one too. So this would be like the player's handout. Um, I don't know. Oh, I can rotate the view here. Rotate clockwise. There we go. Look at this action. Man, how fancy is that? Uh, so this is, the, this is the map that I've been working on or that I've done. You've got a little bit of a cave down here with the boat going in here. Uh, different cave entrances on different levels and stuff like that. A lot of this stuff I didn't put in, but uh, you'll see there's like a windy road that comes down and there's some trees over here. There's these two rivers and, you know, this broken statue of this king statue uh, uh, up on the the cliffside and whatnot. And there seems to be some kind of weird rope line going on there and, you know, just different bits. So I took that map, or that idea, and I converted it into uh, Savage Worlds. Uh, all of the maps for this adventure are available. You can find them in, in some way, shape, or form on my... Uh, um, uh, if you're familiar with my channel, my One World Game Table with Images. That's this one here. If you search out One World Game Table with Images, all of the maps that I make, I make available. Um, so yeah, I took that idea for that map and I sort of rebuilt it inside a tabletop simulator. Um, there's certain things that I wouldn't be able to do. For example, the legs. Like there's no way I'm going to be able to sort of do that, this idea of the legs and stuff like that. So I came up with a different idea, a little bit of a uh, cr creative license is the word I'm looking for. And I just found the statue. You'll see when I click on them here, you'll see that the statue goes all the way into the ground. And uh, then I just put some piles of rubble. These are Yodaxes, little piles of rubble in there. And I just tell the players that uh, this statue of the king um, built into the mountainside his legs have turned into rubble and whatnot and then you've got the tent city over on this side which um, you can see over here on this little plateau right over here with uh, the bottom entranceway and the top entranceway so I kind of put those in here you got a little bottom entranceway on this map down here there is a boat um, in the map which is which looks like this Jen Judd's dead character this is it's a little bit smaller and stuff like that and this map starts with it sort of basically like thrown on the map sort of somewhere in there kind of a deal that you'll see but it's not there because we played on this today so I'm going to put that over on my side and uh, yeah the premise is that this is the bandits camp uh, you can see this one says gray patriots and stuff like that and there's you know it shows them x amount of people in each one but you go through this little cave down here and you come out up here you can read the adventure and stuff like that I put in the uh the waterfalls and uh, you know that kind of stuff. Well, this one doesn't quite look like it's uh, where it needs to be. This piece looks like it could be up a little bit more. Let's go uh, 4.95. Nope, 4.96. How about 5? Oh, 5 makes it show up. So yeah, uh, that's the uh, that's the gist of it. The um, the bandits meet in the mizzle. On this side, uh, you can see on mine, I've got an ogre hiding in and amongst the bush with a bunch of kobolds and stuff like that. And I put in the little mountainside side trail over here. And then there's an upper area up here. So this is the uh, this is the gist of that map. I'm going to kick it over to this side. So if you ever um, watch any of the, uh, the videos that I make, uh, this is a battle map used specifically for the King's Pyre in the adventure called Outlaws of the Iron Root. Let's rotate this sucker backwards. And uh, it is an adventure for season one of uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Pretty damn straightforward. Uh, TTS, this is it. So this will be available today on the uh, 
on the One World Gaming Table. Little wagon going on there, some TPs. I got a caged owl bear. You'll have to put this stuff in because this artwork and whatnot is not uh, not a thing that's going to be available in the edition that uh, I put up there. And that's it. Short and sweet. All right, peace out.